Vancouver Coastal Health, promoting wellness, ensuring care. First Nations in BC are partners with Health Canada, the provincial government and health authorities in their own health care. And they've been clear. They want culturally competent care from their caregivers. Hello, I'm Dr. Evan Adams. In healthcare, we emphasize the first two points, self-awareness and personal attitude, and de-emphasize the last two points. Let me explain. Cultural competence is about the workers' behaviors, not the clients. Healthcare workers can learn to be self-reflective about their own thoughts and behaviors in regards to their clients. Workers can also work on their attitudes towards their clients as well as their knowledge and skills. Knowledge and skills are attainable and expected in our multicultural, pluralistic environment and can be acquired through study and experience. C and D are about knowledge and skills, but in an extremely diverse environment like Canada, we cannot expect all workers to be fully versed in their clients' many cultures, especially since there are hundreds of Aboriginal cultures in the country alone. However, we can ask for cultural sensitivity. Cultural sensitivity means being aware that cultural differences and similarities exist and have an effect on one's values, learning, and behavior. We do expect healthcare workers to have some knowledge and skills with local Aboriginal cultures, the people from their backyard, as it were. Cultural safety is a quality assurance goal for your institution and a stated desire for Aboriginal patients. It occurs when the organization and its staff agree to change their behaviors and be culturally responsive. It's something we must all strive for. This message is brought to you by Vancouver Coastal Health. Vancouver Coastal Health. For more, please visit us at vch.ca.